Hey guys, my name is Nick Perry and I am the Outdoor Recreation Program's Logistics Coordinator for the City of Raleigh's Parks, Recreation, and Cultural Resources Department. Today we are starting our video series called At Home Explorers where we bring outdoor adventure and recreation into your homes. Today we will be making our own compass with things that we probably have laying around your house. Um, you'll need a bowl, you'll need some water, you will also need a magnet. This is a fridge magnet. You can also, um, you're also gonna need a piece of material that floats. So this is a piece of pool noodle. You could use a sponge, a cork, piece of paper, maybe even a leaf. Um, but anything you know of that floats, feel free to use it. You'll also need a piece of metal. Let me see if I can pick mine up. So this is a needle. You could also use a paper clip if you unfold it into a straight line. Um, you could use a safety pin. You could use a normal pin. But if it's something sharp, please be careful to not poke yourself. Um, so if you need an adult's help, call them in, get them to help you. Um, or you can just use a paper clip. So the, step, the first step in making your own compass is to fill your bowl with water. Um, what this does is provide a needle with a, um, a way for it to rotate freely without getting caught on anything. Um, but in order to make your needle ready to become a compass, what you're gonna do is take a magnet and charge it. And so you just run a magnet down the needle over and over again for about 30 seconds. And so this is actually how a magnet or a compass works, is that it responds to the Earth's magnetic fields um, by, you know, it, it spins freely and it will point north and south every time, right? Because it's, it's magnetically drawn to those, the north and south pole. So what, how you know your um, needle or a piece of metal is ready to become a compass is if you just hold it up to the magnet and the magnet holds it, that means it is ready to go. So your next step once you have a magnetically charged piece of metal is to place it on top of your of whatever you have that'll float whether it be i just dropped my needle down the um the hole in this picnic table so i'll be right back with you so i found it i used my magnet it worked beautifully just picked it right back up so you've already charged your uh, needle right then you want to take your the piece of material that floats and just place it on top all right so now what i'm going to do is change the camera so that you guys get a really good view of the compass when it tries to turn and face the direction it wants to all right so i'll be right back with you so i have already checked my work and i know which way north and south are north and south are actually right and left the way you're looking at the video right now. Um, so that means east is up and west is down below the screen. So I'm going to place my magnetically charged needle in facing east and west so that we see it spin to north and south. Be pretty careful when you're putting this in. Facing east and west and it spins north to south. Now what happens if I spin it like that again? it'll recorrect itself to face north and south. But pro tip, if you bring in your magnet, your needle is gonna wanna follow the magnet, see that? So what you're gonna do is move your magnet as far away from your compass as possible. But there you have it. That's how you make your own compass that reads north and south. So try it out. 